Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Electron TV. For today's uh, knowledge sharing video guys, it's about main engine lube oil temperature high. Okay. In this video guys, I will show you how to test the PT100 temperature sensor or RTD and what is the cause why your temperature sensor give an error or wrong reading even your temperature sensor is good okay guys but before we start if you are new in my youtube channel it will be a pleasure to me guys if you click like and subscribe to my youtube channel okay and thank you guys Okay guys, here is my trouble for today, main engine port side, lube oil inlet temperature high. Okay. Now let's see here in the analog meter how much the temperature value, main engine lube oil temp, almost 80 degrees Celsius, that's why they give a high temp alarm. Okay. Now guys, here is the main engine port side and this is the lube oil filter and this is the lube oil temperature sensor and this is the RTD PT100. Now guys, I have a thermal scanner just to check the temperature if uh, the same in the actual. but uh, it's hard to see because against uh, the light of my uh, camera wait uh, I guess you see we have a 60.5 in the actual temperature of the lube oil temp but in the control room they have 80 therefore we have some error that's the problem the difference is uh, almost 20 degrees Celsius. Okay, now we try to check what is the cause of that. Maybe the temperature sensor is uh, not accurate or damage. I try to open, guys, and let's see. Now, guys, I already opened. We have uh, two wire here. Okay. now guys I already disconnect the two wire and uh, the main engine guys is uh, running therefore uh, not possible this full temperature sensor to remove but for me just add tips if you want to remove no need to remove the whole temperature you can remove the only that pt100 just to unscrew this to screw up and down and pull out now i remove this is the rtd pt100 temperature sensor okay if you have some problem with your temperature sensor like this and uh, your uh, machine was running and you want to replace no need to remove hole or stop the machine to replace because you can pull out only the sensor okay okay guys now i test this pt100 Okay, how to test the PT100 guys is uh, very easy because you can test by your ohmmeter because the PT100 temperature sensor you can test by resistance or ohms. The 0 degree Celsius is equivalent to 100 ohms or 100 resistance. 
Therefore, if you test this PT100 and your reading was 0 ohm or open, therefore your PT100 is broken. But now, let's see. Okay, wait. We have only two terminal. One is a jumper. That's why we become three. But only two wire. This kind of uh, temperature sensor. We have a reading of 114.9. In that case, guys, I think this temperature sensor is uh, working. Because the equivalent value of this uh, 114 in degree Celsius is 38 degree Celsius. Because I remove, I think it's the normal temperature because I remove inside the tube. And this time, I'm not sure if this is the problem. Maybe this uh, temperature sensor did not give accurate uh, reading. Uh, therefore, I tried to find the spare and uh, install and check if it's the same reading. Because here guys, I don't have a calibrator to check if it's this PT100 was accurate or uh, no. But now guys, I put back the wire and I put back also the same PT100 temperature sensor and uh, let's see what is the resistance value when I put back. Now I try to check first the voltage reading of the two wire. We have 8.3 supply come from a transmitter board now I check the resistance value of the PT100 we have 122.9 122.9 guys if you check in the PT100 resistance table is the equivalent value in degree Celsius guys is 59 degree Celsius therefore this uh, PT100 gives a uh, accurate reading and I think this temperature sensor is not the problem now I try to put back and check again upstairs or in the engine control if we have some changes in the analog meter okay guys look this uh, monitoring alarm system give some not stable reading look you see and still have a high temp alarm and the analog meter is still the same also fluctuate that's why maybe you have some other loose connection somewhere but now guys I put some other uh, PT100 because I don't have other exactly the same I remove the wire and I connect here in this uh, new temperature sensor and uh, let's see what's happened upstairs or uh, in the engine control if we have some changes in the analog and the digital monitor okay that's the PT100 that I removed and let's go guys upstairs to see if we have some changes in the monitor because I installed new PT100 temperature sensor uh, but look guys we have sensor fail and uh, error I put new PT100 but it's still the same I think we have some problem somewhere loose connection that's why I need to read the manual 
and find where's the terminal we need time to troubleshoot this because I think we have some loose connection somewhere now it's time to read the manual ok guys uh, this is the diagram base here this is the PT100 thermocouple electronic signal panel lube oil inlet temp high and this is lube oil inlet temp high this is for the analog meter and this is the input the junction box from the main engine okay that's the thing that we need to check and follow those wires from here to the main engine junction box okay okay guys the new PT100 is still connected okay and I follow the wire going to this uh, junction box and based in the manual the numbering here is from the temperature sensor from this junction box okay and now guys I think I found the problem because this terminal block I test have a ground fault and if you look clear we have some uh, moist that's why I think that's the reason that's why the PT100 temperature sensor give a wrong reading or a error in the monitoring system okay and this two wire is uh, going to thermocouple signal electronic board okay the only reason guys in this trouble is the ground port from the terminal block now I try to transfer to this terminal block the connection and let's see guys what's happened and now guys I also retighten the connection here in the thermocouple signal panel or this electronic board all the temperature sensor connection is here from the junction box came from here because this is the input here input connection also some other BT100 connection is here I retightened all for the better okay now guys look the reading 42.8 that's the reading of a new temperature sensor that I connect downstairs or in the engine and also the analog meter gives 40 uh, almost the same we have different but a little bit not like before okay, now guys uh, let's go down to put back everything and let's see if uh, problem solved okay guys now I put back this uh, RTD PT100 temperature sensor
Okay now guys, we have a 63.5 degrees Celsius. But still have sensor repair because it came from this fuel inlet pressure low. Still no spare for that. And this number guys, 303 is number from this uh, alarm signal. 303, port side, tube oil inlet, temp high. 63.5 and the analog okay almost the same okay that's it for today's troubleshooting guys and i hope you learned something in this video and guys please don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel and click also the notification bell therefore you're always notified every time i have a troubleshooting knowledge sharing video guys okay to all of my subscriber thank you and thank you for watching my video take care always guys god bless bye